Oh, as most people know, it's it's award time because it's awards time. Means uh, not a spring chick is basically doing her gifting suites and doing interviews. Plus, this year she is going to the Emmy, so I'll be doing most of this stuff by myself for a while. But uh, here we go. Um, basically, with the comments and the headlines of the day, I love this. Only Obama was able to save the stock market from total collapse in the USA because of his brilliant plan to put people back to work. I mean. You actually had people saying that. I mean, I, I find it unbelievable that um, that basically no one's going to hire anybody short term, of which is going to cost them a god awful amount of money. It cost seventy thousand dollars to hire a person, basically, and they're going to get a they're going to get a tax break for hiring a person. They, they, they don't, and you know, well, that's going to pump up the economy. And then the second one, I love this one. Well, everybody that's working should uh, give part of their job to somebody else so that we can have more people working, and that will simply make the economy grow faster. No, it's the same bucks. It doesn't increase the amount of money anywhere. It's the same money, except you're having less for one person, which means they have less to spend, which means how they're going to pay their bills. It's um, sort of not too bright, but then again... Uh, I know that uh, long-term jobs give mixed reviews to the Obama speech. Well, because it's a short-term plan. They said his shovel, once again, has got to do with my only unions and shovel-ready work for unions. There's no shovel-ready work for these people and, uh, because it can take five, six years to get things set up. You know, because people, the environmentalists, will fight you every inch of the way of doing any work on anything. Um, uh, Fired pharmacists who foiled robbers through Walgreens. I mean, I, my mother was in the restaurant business for years, and she basically was a standard rule that her employees were not to do anything to stop the robbery, because if somebody got hurt as a result of what you did, you then the company would be sued. So you just let the robbery happen, and that's what they pay insurance for. Uh, uh, the missing Brazilian found living in a Siberian forest. Uh, I don't know why they would be in a Siberian forest. I mean, that's sort of a long ways from Brazil, unless you really like being, you know, freezing your, you go from being nice and comfortable in the tropics to freezing your rear end off. Makes no sense. Um, uh, homes and businesses swamped by Susquehanna River. You know, well, I, I told people before, I've been in fires, floods, earthquakes, and I'll guarantee you that it's a lot easier to recover from a flood than it is from a fire or an earthquake. Fires and earthquakes can level everything, whereas a flood, you know, if you're lucky, it basically you only have to yank the wallboard out and you know, everything is on the flood area, you have to get thrown away. But still, my God, you, you fire, there's nothing left to throw away, or an earthquake, it destroys it all. Um, Let's see, one dead, nine sick from fumes at McDonald's in Georgia. Well, yeah, you know, and that's basically not supposed to happen, folks. I mean, uh, you, you'd think, first of all, the smell alone would drive you out of a place. So, uh, Egyptians break into Israel embassy and, and burn the place to the ground. But don't worry, the Israeli, the, the Egyptian government said, you know, we... We, you know, three people were killed in our efforts to try to stop them. Well, they didn't try to stop them very hard because uh, basically it shows exactly what happens in a Muslim world. They, the Muslims pay no attention to uh, the real embassy rules. They just simply take them and do whatever you want. Um, here's one that makes no sense. U.S. Mail Army Service is taking $2.4 million over the coins. How? You can't get out, you know, you, you couldn't leave with a penny more than you can't, came in with, and yet he walked out with $2.4 I think something's phony about that one. Um, and then here's one. And why would anyone want to be Yahoo CEO? Well, if you run the company right, and there is, there is people that would run it right, and you could basically build yourself, a, 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 as they say, a lot of nickels, folks. Because they're being paid, you know, they're getting paid salary plus incentive. It's where the, incentive. the more money you make, the more money you make. What the Bank of America shakeup means for you? It means you're going to get screwed more by banks. I mean, our government decided they're going to teach the banks in this nation a lesson. Bank of America basically is going to be the first one to be taught a lesson. And um, it is going to hurt massively all the little people in this country. You can barely borrow money now, so what's going to happen? 
the banks are going to make, the government is going to make certain there's no banks around to loan you money. So, uh, let's see, the uh, 6.4 earthquake strikes off of Venice, Vancouver. Well, yeah, uh, the earthquakes are happening in a lot of places that shouldn't be happening, but the problem comes is, is that what people don't seem to get through their thick heads is the fact that, um, is, um, that when you take something out of the ground, it means the ground has to fill in that area that you took things out of. So when you're taking groundwater out, <coughs> the groundwater, the, the empty space fills in with the earth, and that basically causes a massive earthquake. It's just simple physics, folks. Uh, Paul, respond, Paul responds to confidential debate photos with Perry. Well, Perry was very unhappy with Paul. They made it very clear that he was very unhappy but also probably more or less was a great publicity stunt because when it got both Paul and Perry a lot of extra attention that they would not have gotten it took the attention away from the other people at the debate. You know, it's just like the two of us sat there and worked out the, the choreography of it. Um, uh, here's one. Military suicide is not just a number to California lawmakers. What the problem is is that, uh, that you, you look at maybe how, you look at uh, suicides now versus suicides in the past and I understand there's no more suicides today than there were in the past but there are more Democrats running uh, running things than there were in the past so they figured that how do you stop military suicides you shut the military down and then there's people that are committing suicide in the military with us commit suicides in uh, in whatever position like my father my father was with the um, American Legion and he just and in charge of the hospitals. He you know tour the things, make certain people had stuff. He discovered that virtually all the men, all the hospitals, for a long time, for uh, for convenience sake, were stacking certain floors. I think it was in like seven. They they basically stack them with the people they knew they were going to die. So all of a sudden you have the outrage. All these people are dying on seven in this hospital. So what they did then was they started spreading the people that are going to dying out through other floors in the hospital. Same amount of people dying, same statistics, but they were doing that on other floors then instead of on that one. You know, that's how the government works. Um, uh, military blackout in Southern California and Arizona, New Mexico, a reminder of power grid vulnerabilities. This is why so the green power doesn't work because the green power has to run through a system. Like the one guy said, there's a hundred Somebody's system is 100 years old, and it's taken at least 110 years to build the system. The system is, is, isn't where the green power is, and basically when you put the new stuff onto the old stuff, the old stuff isn't capable of carrying the new stuff, so therefore you have massive problems, folks. Um, here's a wacky thought, which actually isn't that, here, okay. We're gonna try putting it this way, it's amazing that where water is always where it is not needed the most and never where it is needed the most. So there, this idea, too wacky, moving water from flood to the drought areas. Well, you know, except you can't make the water run uphill without tremendous power, and that's not something you're going to get in this busted up economy. So, um, let's see, we got uh, quarterback Harris apologizes for rolling Miami sky. I wouldn't apologize. I mean, you know, it's ridiculous. Like guys were caught selling, you know, souvenirs from their from their uh, career that shouldn't be illegal to begin with. I mean, it was theirs. They should be able to do whatever they want to with it. Um, like at Bernanke, unlikely to show his hand on Fed easing. Well, yeah, because they can't. Because they they said there was nothing left for the Fed. The Fed the Fed can do. Uh, as it is, what they've done is they've drove down bonds to where bonds are basically worthless now. Uh, and another thing, you know, Libyan fighters amassed near pro-Gaddafi town. Well, sooner or later, people are going to have to get the idea that Gaddafi is not in those towns. He's somewhere where he's nice and safe, where he can cause havoc. If he's not in the country, he becomes a massively dangerous person. Um, another, another brilliant thing from our president. What disasters are costing the United States some billions of dollars? Well, yeah. Last year they cost billions of dollars, the year before that billions of dollars. And every year it's the same thing, billions of dollars. Um, and you see we got uh, <clears throat> a money bottle from March 20, the Animal Kingdom. What to do when you don't know what to do? 
dig the hole deeper you're standing in and then ask for help to dig it any deeper when you can't dig it any deeper yourself.